This is section 3.7, chain rule. And chain rule is kind of the ultimate derivative rule. It tells us how to take the derivative when we have a function within a function, which actually happens a lot. So we'll be using this uh, rule for the rest of the semester. So it's really important that you get a really good handle of it early on. Okay, so let's go through this example problem. It's number 57 in your book gives us this function, ask for the derivative. All right, so first thing I'm going to do with this function is whenever I see um, a radical, I'm going to rewrite it as an exponent, just so that it's easier to see how to take the derivative of the function. So remember, the square root can be re rewritten as the one-half power. All right, so I've rewritten my function. Next, for chain rule problems, I'm going to first identify what my outside function is and what my inside function is. Because remember, chain rule tells us that to, to start with the outermost function, take the derivative of that, and then multiply it by the innermost function. All right, so I'm going to identify my outside function. To identify my outside function, I, would, I imagine that I'm zooming out to this function. What's the first thing I see? First thing I see is something raised to the one half power. So my outside function is something raised to the one half power. To take the derivative of this, I'm just going to use my power rule. Bring the exponent to the front and then subtract one. Okay, so I have my outside function. Now I'm going to look for my inside function. So if I were to zoom into this function, the next thing I see is this inside part, the something that's raised to the exponent. So my inside is just the z plus 1 over z minus 1. And to take the derivative of this inside part, I'll need to use my quotient rule. Okay, so I've identified my outside function and my inside function. I know how to take the derivative of both. From there, it's just using chain rule and multiplying them together. All right, so if you remember, chain rule tells us um, to take the derivative of the outermost function, then multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. So my outside function, to take the derivative of something raised to the one half power, I use my power rule, bring the exponent to the front, keep the inside the same, and then subtract one from the exponent. And then I'm going to multiply that by the derivative of this inside part. And remember, we said that to take the derivative of the inside, we're going to use quotient rule. So this becomes my low times the derivative of the high, which will end up just being 1, minus the entire quantity of my high times the derivative of the low, which also ends up being 1, all over the low squared, z minus 1 squared. Okay, this is a whole lot of numbers here. But if you're to go through and simplify all of this, you should get that y prime is equal to 1 half this entire quantity to the negative 1 half power. And when you simplify this part, it becomes minus 2 over z minus 1 squared. And that's your final answer. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.